Because a lot of you guys look at the numbers and sometimes you didn't select the ordered pair. Okay, so ordered pair is with parentheses. Label the access is graph the ordered pairs. So down on the bottom, what would that probably be? No, no, no. What would this be? The water or the salt? So water. Okay, and then the the uh, y axis would be okay, and then what are we going to do? Zero, zero, right? Next one, over three to the right, up uh, what? Okay, so where are we going to go for that one, guys? Like in between right here and here, right? So I'd go about right there. Okay. So three, four, six, eight. And then what? Nine, twelve. So in between that one. Kind of like that, right? So if the class uses 15 cups of water, so we would go to what? This would be 12, then 15, right? We need to extend out our um, our chart, okay? Then we'd add four down here, which is what? 16 and add four more, that's what? 20, what, how much salt does the class need? 20 teaspoons. So essentially we would need to show a little bit of work and we did that by adding more to our chart, correct? Check in our standing. Number one, Fernando also learns in math class that the rule add one to the side length of a pentagon with equal side lengths results in the rule add five to the perimeter. Write four ordered pairs that relate the side length of a pentagon to the perimeter of the pentagon. So let's label SL for side length and then perimeter. Okay, so what is, what would we start with, guys? Well, you can start with zero, zero, or we can do one, right? Okay. And then the, what's the pentagon perimeter? Five. Ready? Okay, so for one, five length would be five. Two would be what? Ten. Okay, and they want how many? Four, right? Right, four ordered pairs. So what's next? Next. Okay, so let's go ahead and write our ordered pairs. So one, five, two, ten, three, what? Fifteen, four. Okay, use the table for two, three, four. Okay. So number one was kind of what we did yesterday, and I didn't make you guys show the table. Is that kind of makes it easier to do a table, right? Okay. So then you can see what goes with what. So I would like you to do the table today. All right. Okay. Use the values of the tables to write the ordered pairs. So we have what? Zero, zero. What's my next one? One eight. And what's my next one? Two sixteen. Graph the order um, pairs and label the axes. So down here along the bottom would be what? The hours worked. And the y-axis would be what? Earning. Okay. So in dollars and you guys need to make sure you put the parentheses too because it's a label right so you need to make sure you put that so then they want us to graph them so i go to zero zero and put a dot i go over one to the right and up eight put another dot i go over two and up 16 to another dot now if i were to connect those should i get a straight line yes yeah, yeah, because they follow the same rule right okay what would be the earnings for four hours of work? So I would go ahead and extend this out. Three would be what? 
So basically, I take this times what, guys? Times 8, right? So 24. 4 would be 32. So $32 for four hours of work. Number five, on your own, for each person, $10 is added to the bill. Complete the table. So they said for each person, it's what? $10. So two would be 20. Three would be 30. So our rule was times what? Okay, so use the values in the tables to write ordered pairs. So our first ordered pair is 1, 10. What's our next one? 220. And what's our next one? 330. What would be the amount of the bill for six people? So basically, we said our rule was times 10. So six times, so I'm going to show some work. Six times 10 is 60. So 60. Dollars. Okay, we're going to start here on page 492. Um, if we run out of time on our recording, the whole page does need to be finished. On your own, number six, STEM. In an experiment, vinegar and iodine are mixed together to make a clear liquid. After one minute, the clear liquid changes to a dark liquid. The table shows the amount of iodine needed for the amount of vinegar used. So they said 0, 0, 2, 3, 4, 6, 6, 9. So what is happening? So right here, they're doing what? Oh, sorry, not two or three. You add two, right? Okay, so we found out that on the top, they're adding two, right? Okay, to get to the next one. And on the bottom, they're adding three to get to the next one. But they want us to do the order of pairs on the uh, on the graph and then also label label our axes. So the x axis would be what? The vinegar, right? Okay, the y axis would be what? The iron. And that's in what? Drops. In drop. So, what do we do? We go zero, zero, right? Then we go over to the right, two and up, three. So, that would be about right there. We go over to the right, four and up, six. We go over to the right, six and up, nine. Right? Okay. So, how much iodine is needed for 10? Teaspoons of vinegar. So, what would we do here? We are going to extend this out to show a little bit more work. So, we get to 8 and then we get to 10. Am I good? Yes? No? Yep. Then we add 3. So, 9 plus 3 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. So, how many teaspoons? I mean, how many drops? 15 drops. Right? How much vinegar is needed for 12 drops of iodine? Okay, the only thing is, um, we already did it, right? So we already did our work, okay? So then we're gonna look at that backwards, right? We go to the 12 and then look what's above it, the eight. So eight, what? Teaspoons. Number seven, new structure. The graph shows the distance for a walk. Write the ordered pairs that correspond to the points on the graph. So they started at what, guys? Zero, zero. Then they went to what? What is that? One, three, right? Okay. Then they went to what? Two. Two, six. Then they went over to what? Three, nine. Okay. Then they went to what? 
four, 